It took five years of blood and pain and labor to reap this harvest. And this is that fruit of a late learned unity. On the 22nd of August, Paris had been freed. Brussels followed, Luxembourg, Belgrade, Athens, Sofia, Bucharest, Budapest. For one wonderful summer, Europe went mad with victory. Now Germany would have liked to make peace. Not surrender, but peace. But Germany made war in her good time, but the free world would make peace in its own. The war went over the border. This is Cologne on German soil. These are Germans on the road who had asked for total war. These are Germans in front of air raid shelters. And while the Allied armies struck from the west, the Red Army, in a coordinated offensive, came driving over the plains of Poland. In memory of Smolensk and Kharkov, yes, and of London, Odessa and Kiev and of Rotterdam, Leningrad and Orel and Pearl Harbor, Stalingrad and Rostov, in memory of the world's burned towns, of dead children, of shattered hopes, in memory of brutal nights and terrible days, of nations bleeding and once near death. Soon it was German towns, German hopes, German desires. And German dead. God help them. They have made the world fuller of torment and death than in a thousand years. while from the west, the Allies struck deep into Germany beyond the Rhine. How many German houses were burned that winter and spring? How many German fields littered? How many German vineyards cut down? There will be silence in Germany for a long, long time. The German people who allowed its leaders to lead it into war have discovered the tragedy of war. This is Germany land of darkness, of moral collapse. And a united world has learned through its dead, through its much pain, that only in unity of us all is there hope for any of us. If we forget that, in the end this long war will have been in vain. Germany. These German people have never in their history fought for their own internal individual freedom until they know the meaning of freedom of dignity for every citizen, there is no hope for Germany in a civilized world. 